What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another Rattlesnake Valley here on the PC. I do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. I almost said stream. I've been streaming a lot lately. Can you tell? Thanks for clicking on the video. I do appreciate it, guys. And how's it going? All right. So we have finished the sugar beet process. And, um, boy, it was a process. So I'm going to be selling all this off. Um, yeah, the, the auger wagon I have here as well. Because, uh, why not? Uh, because I want to go to the Kudaman, uh, auger wagon. So, it's like, I don't see it. I want to get a Kudaman. Kuleman? Kula? Kuleman? I don't think the 70,000 liter one, uh, excuse me, is really a good option. So... We went from 43,000, obviously we had this one because this worked with course play, and for some reason, this one didn't. Uh, so we're going to be going to 53,100 liters, and we are... Oh, I thought this was the one I could put on tracks, so I guess not. Uh, okay, let's uh, purchase that, just kind of so we have it. And I think for right now, I am going to keep the, uh, the, the, the Homer Terra thingamajig. I think I'm gonna hang on to it for uh, for right now, and that it'll just be another tractor to have. Tractors are always handy to have around. You guys know my motto with tractors in this game: if you have too many, you will always have enough. So there's that. <laughs> All right, so let's get this auger wagon hooked on here real fast, just for funsies. Take a look at it, basically, real fast. Uh, that's probably my favorite auger wagon mod out there. Um, are these Kulemans. And I've not actually used this one. Uh, I mean, of, of course, I have used it in, like, to make the mod video of it and stuff. But to actually use it, use it, I've not really done that. I need a bigger tractor for this, though. Probably. I mean, this map is, uh, or at least all the fields I'm playing, or all the fields that I'm running right now are flat. So I don't know that I really need a bigger one. But it doesn't really look... Yeah, I need a bigger tractor just just for looks reasons, if if nothing else, I guess. Um, yeah. All right, so let's talk a little bit about <laughs> all of the sugar beets. So what we have going on here, guys, is well, actually, if we just tab, there's this this no no the, this train with uh, 400 and yeah. Um, all of these trains are full right now, I, I believe, except for this one. This one's not quite full. This one's almost full, okay? So I, I kind of thought of this. I was like, man, and I, and I believe I talked about it in a previous video as well. But I'm like, I have these two other trains that just sit here. Let's totally use them for something, right? Like, it kind of made sense to me to go ahead and use them. So they are full. The problem is I need to go somewhere with, like, you know, 600,000 basically, roughly, so that I can continue to use this train to sell goods. Now, where that's going to be, I'm not totally sure right now. I'm not sure. So, what I might do is, is just kind of hold off on that for right now, honestly. I might just, uh, let's see, yeah, we want to take you, so. We might just hold off on... Oh, on on that. Um, there's some storage buildings out there I know of. Uh, the other option is a pile. And I kind of don't want to pile, but I might pile. And actually, if I'm going to pile, it'll probably be in this grass area here. Because if you look at the map, there's really no... I just got an alert on my tablet. What was that? I got an email. Um, b -b 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 farm sim for Xbox, okay, blah, blah, blah. All right. Anyway, back to, uh, anyway, <laughs> checking my emails live. There's no real good grass patches kind of up there, and I don't want to, or you know what? I know what I did. Hang on, let's drive up there real quick, because I think I've done something. I think I have done something. I can't really remember. It's been like a week since I've touched this map, you know, clearly. Actually, not quite a week, but you know what I'm saying. The other thing we have to get rid of is these trucks. This truck with this trailer combination just simply is not working anymore for me. 
the problem I'm having, and you guys have seen it numerous times, is the fact that they are getting stuck on the train tracks mostly. And the other day while I was live streaming this, actually harvesting the sugar beets, I had just a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of problems with, let's leave that guy there, uh, a ton of problems with them getting stuck, not only on the train tracks, but actually driving into the building. Just a nightmare with them getting stuck. So my theory is if I go to a tandem axle truck, I, that's not the turn I wanted to make. If I go to a tandem axle truck and even the same trailer, it will keep the dolly legs off the ground just a little bit better with a tandem axle truck. Uh, that is one theory. And actually I have another theory as well. And I forgot to activate a mod that I wanted to put in here. Now it's all coming back to me. The theory I'm going to be running with is probably I'm going to go to a straight truck. Um, I did a mod video on a GMC. Now, the only thing is I have not tested it with course play, of course. Uh, hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, it's not that much money and we'll move on. But what I want to do is if I, if I keep a semi trailer, I need to go to a different truck. I'm going to go to a tandem axle at least maybe, well, yeah, probably go with the tandem. Uh, out of the road train pack, I believe there's a tandem axle truck in there. That's the same truck. It's just tandem axle. So that would be nice. That would be very, very nice. All right. So up here at the pigs, I believe I have done something up here and I don't know. I don't remember if I actually did it or not. Basically. <laughs> so, uh, I was looking at doing something up here and I don't remember if I did it or not. It's up here somewhere. Let's see. So we have the pig food maker here which we kind of messed up on because there's a big food maker right up around the corner. We have the hayloft that we placed in here as well. And okay, I did not place that in, okay. I, I thought about putting a building back here to pile them in because there is actually enough room here to do it. I don't want to pile them in that kind of building because to get them back out of that kind of building, I kind of thought it might be a nightmare. So what I was looking at here, let's go into placeables. And let's scroll. We could just use like the standard. That that would actually be a good option. We could have two piles in there if we wanted. Um, I think I downloaded something else though too. I can't really remember right now. Nope, I guess that was it. Okay. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's what I was having a mod issue with this morning. We could just go with the standard. Um, where are we at here? Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay. Uh, this kind of the standard uh, building, you know. I, I feel like this building should work to get them out of. I don't think the other building would have worked uh, like that building that's already there. See, but the problem is this is like massive in here. It's like, is there really enough room here? Not really. So then we're like back to back to grass patches, you know. So if we actually, let's look in here. So if we look on the map. Uh, there is some grass over here, but I don't know. That's like the train goes through there and stuff. And yeah, so I, what I really think we're going to do, and I'm kind of him and hawing and wasting time around this, this subject here. Uh, one option was put them north of uh, 15 here. And that's not a bad option. That's not a bad option. But I, it's a little tight there. I think I'm just going to put them over like here and right in the right kind of here kind of thing. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. Um, unless I find like a storage building in the mods that holds holds that, which I know there are some stuff out there. There are some things out there. Or I just make a pile like right here in the yard. <laughs> that would work. Like there's probably enough room here or even back there, just no shed. I would kind of like to get them in the shed to be a little bit more legitimate. Like, you know, there's not as much room back here. It's just this, this map for being a 4X map, they really pack this sucker with stuff. You know, it would be more convenient. You know what? Right here would totally work. Just like right in the center here kind of thing. You know, we only need to pile like 600,000, which is a lot. I realize that, but it's not that bad, right? <laughs> it's not that bad. So how are we going to go about stacking 600,000 sugar beet? 
Oh, goodness. How are we going to go about doing that? Hmm. So, there's the train building, actually. You know what? That wouldn't be a bad run. Let's go back that way. So, I have this other building up here full of sugar beets as well. And, yeah, let's let's at least get some stuff going here uh, so that we can start making mixed rations because we've been talking about, or not mixed rations, power food for the pigs. We've been talking about this long enough, so let's let's work on that right now. And then I will have to figure out how I'm going to probably do a course play course to make them like run but put a pause point in so that I have to manually like dump the truck but make it so the trucks will run to and from automatically and fill up over here and then I'll bring that other train up here and basically haul until the train is empty I don't care if the other two trains have grain in them or sugar beet in this case uh, it's fine I don't use those trains um, that's 100% okay with me but of course I do care yeah, we can bring course play in here, right? This is no different than the other train building. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, so there's 500,000 here. There's 500,000 at the other... Or, yeah, there's 500,000 here. 500,000 at the other train building. Plus the three trains worth. <laughs> the other option, of course, which would cost a fair bit of money, is just by the expandable silos for the homestead but it's $125,000 to store $100,000 eh, I don't know it might be worth it it probably is worth it but we'll go pile I like piles right <laughs> I like piles and actually if the piles going well and it's not getting like out of hand big um, see there we go we just got dinked up on the uh, train track right there even so I really need to get my different truck in here, and then I think it'll have a lot less problems with the train track. At least that's what I'm hoping. So there is that. But what I actually want to do is either use a conveyor belt or the stacker thing, the horse uh, stacker. Probably use the horse thing to go ahead and stack them up so we get a nice neat tight pile that's pretty tall you know it just makes sense it's as high as we can go which really is not that high in this game but uh that's okay that is all good okay all right we dump this in here come on now cooperate truck and that's actually the other thing about that other truck i want to bring in is since it is a straight truck it will handle in here a lot better and it holds a hundred thousand so more capacity all that good happy fun stuff uh where do we have our corn do we have corn in our or do well, we have canola yeah we need canola right and corn yeah we need both okay i'm all confuzzled now i just did this on our uh cherry hill stream map for like hours the other night but a little confuzzled here it's all good. It is all good. All right. Can we fill up here? Yeah. Um, where's the other? Let's go ahead and grab you as well. And let's get some stuff running up to these uh, these guys. Actually, no. They don't use straw. What am I doing? I'm putting straw in the truck. We don't use straw uh, for that. <laughs> and actually, it would be nice to have piles of everything up there so that we don't have to be driving down here all the time. But with 100,000 capacity, it's not bad. And I'll just use that other train building up there. It's closer than the homestead anyway. So we might as well use that. I don't really use the homestead on this map uh, very much at all. So it's kind of impressive in a way at how little I actually use the homestead. So there is that. All right. Let's pull in here and load up with corn or canola. Corn or canola. Canola's first, so let's do that. And of course, I don't have my group stitcher set up on this map. I really... Uh, I know, guys. I know. Uh, truck, 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 truck. There we go. All right, so that does not use... So, yeah, okay. It's cool. This is cool. So this will hold corn, barley, or wheat. Uh, you can use any of those. Wow. And then the center one here is your 
canola or sunflower. So actually, yeah, corn corn works. We'll just use corn. And then down here is potato or sugar meat. I actually like that. I've never gotten out and looked at the signs on this particular one. So it does not need straw. I, mean, I keep thinking mixed rations like cows. Uh, they need straw. We ha don't actually own any pigs right now. And the debate I'm having with myself is do I just buy the pigs and pay a little bit of a penalty? Because it's really not that bad. You know what I'm saying? Or do I, like, set up course play and run loads from the place? I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and buy these, right? Like, right now. I'm going to go ahead and buy, like, 200. Um, I think when it comes time to sell, I will run a truck, run in course play to sell them. Because I, why not? I think that'll be fun. All right. So let's go ahead and buy 200. We're going to pay $40,000 in, a, in a, like, a fee to deliver them. That's not that bad if you think about it. I can't buy the trailer for $40,000. So, okay. We have them because we might as well dump uh, dump the straw. We do need to get a water trailer up here and find a water point up here by the pigs. If there's not, which I had problems finding it for the cows or for the sheep. Um, if there's not, I'll just place a water tower up here and be done with it because that works just as well. For me, yeah, it costs a little bit of money, but who cares? <laughs> you know, it's whatever. I'm making enough money on this map to afford a little bit of water. And you will make money off pigs long term. Um, once I get the breeding stock basically up to probably around a thousand, um, every time you fast time, it's like an amazing amount that you actually get. So. Yeah, but I think first order of business is, guys, I need to get that truck in here for the next video. I will go do that between videos, because obviously I record them back to back. But I will get the truck in here, and I will, I really need to empty that train. Uh, that train kind of like controls everything, because, yeah, it just does. And then I need to probably plant, I have canola in my fields, which is good, because I, I'm going to go ahead and fill this train building up here. With 500,000 canola. And then we need to go ahead and fill the train building with the 500,000 um, corn as well. And and just keep that kind of... Keep an eye on it because we're going to go through a lot. You do go through a fair bit uh, with pigs. So the, there's that. And especially, you know, we're trying to go a little bit big here with 1,000 to start with. Or 1,000 before I sell, I should say. Not just 1,000 you know, to start with. I'm not going to buy a thousand. I bought 200. We'll breed them up to a thousand. We might buy a few more along the way. You never know. But I would say we probably won't. You know, I would say we probably won't. So there's that. And then eventually we'll have our thousand and, uh, we'll kind of go from there and, and, and see how it works and everything. So all right, so you can see a bigger truck would be good here because we really can't haul that much in one load with these. Um, I do like how compact and short and everything these uh, these trucks and trailers are, and that's why I went with them on this map because, like I said earlier, for a 4X map, this map is tight. You got, you know, dirt rock walls on one side. You got fences on the other side. You got small gate openings. You got train tracks to maneuver around, like all that stuff. And this map's kind of tight. You got signs. Um, everything. It's it's uh, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes on this map almost, but I am enjoying this map. I do like this map. I am looking forward to playing on this map quite a bit yet to come. This this series is going to go a long time, I feel like. So, there is that. There is that. All right, let's get a load of corn hauled up there, and then it can actually make mixed rations. Or it can make the pig food. It's kind of a mixed ration, but it's not called mixed ration, of course, so. Um, and that's the other thing. Ooh, I don't have any, like, any corn here, do I? Where's all my corn at? Um, um, I can't, I can't check it with any train, because it's, they're both. Never mind. I know I have more corn. I think it's at train building. I think that's where it's at. We will, uh, I guess we can run down there real fast? Or did I take it up north? I don't think I did. I don't think I ever took any corn up north. 
Uh, I need to. I need to. But I got to get that train empty first. <laughs> so I think that's going to be next video, guys, is getting that train emptied out. And uh, we'll keep working on that or start working on the train in the next video with our other truck as well. Because if we're bringing 100,000 at a time, one truckload is probably enough at a time. Run them on course plate if it'll work. And uh, go at it like that. Because these, these trucks and trailers, they're great, but they just get stuck way too much. Way too much. And, hey, it's always good to go modded, right? It's always a good thing. And so what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to dump this uh, as long as it'll hold. Oh, they were getting stuck right here, too. Just this little ramp. The, the dolly legs will get stuck on the top, like right there. It was annoying the crap out of me while I was live streaming this map. All right, let's go ahead and dump that so we can actually see how much we have here. Uh, I wish that this was on, like, the escape menu. Okay, yeah, there's a fair bit of card here. We need to haul this up north as well. Uh, but we will get to that, guys. We will get to that. Sorry for being a little scatterbrained in this episode. Um, it happens when I get on the map and I, I don't really, like, uh, not, not prepare. Well, yeah, I don't really prepare for the video. I just kind of jump in, like... All right, let's play. <laughs> so, it happens. I'll be a little more prepared and have a plan for uh, the next video, of course. And uh, all that. So, let's run this up real fast, dump it at the pigs, and then we will end the video. I know we're in bonus time already. I am using my stopwatch app on my tablet in front of me to keep track of exactly how long this video is. See, like right there, getting stuck. Straight truck won't do that. At least I hope not. <laughs> Just saying. So there's that. And these roads, man. Need to get a bulldozer in here and grade these roads out or something. These roads are terrible at times, but that's all right. All right, so let's run this up. Is this the same road? Not really. Okay. Need to dogleg to the right. I'm still learning this map a little bit. Uh, being that I'm having course play do all my running, I don't, you know, I run once and then I'm kind of done in a way. So uh, there is that. But it's all good. It's all good. We got some, what are those, cows over there? Fake cows. Fake news. Fake cows. It's all fake. <laughs> it's all fake. But anyway, the stopwatch thing in front of me on my tablet is awesome. Uh, I use it while recording now to keep track of how long the videos are. So that I know when I'm supposed to wrap it up around the 20 minute mark. I know we're over time right now, but that's okay. I want to accomplish at least this much in this video. So it can make a little bit of the pig food, um, yeah, before next video. So there's that. There is that. All right, so let's see. Yeah, we do have canola in all of our fields, like I said earlier. It is all grown, ready to go. But it's kind of, the next harvest is going to be a, a few videos away. Uh, we really need to get that stuff moved. We need to get the pigs going. Uh, now that we purchased the pigs, we need to go ahead and pay attention to them and get them all good to go. Otherwise, we're just wasting money. You know what I'm saying? So, we do need to concentrate on our pigs here a little bit and get them good to go. Alright, so it should be making... Should be making... Maybe... maybe baby? Making... It turned on or something? I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Let's see. Because I, I thought it would actually like mix. No? Maybe I'm uh, wrong on that. I don't know. Oh. Back in here and see. Alright. Well, it made a little spittle of it. Does that count? Um, okay. There's no... There's no... There's no way. There's nothing to do there. I wonder if it's just a fast time you thing. Alright, let's, let's stare at this. And crank up fast time. There we go. Now she's mixing, boys. So it just took a minute to uh, activate. And holy crap, is it loud. <laughs> it is a bit loud. There we go. Now we're mixing, boys. 
Now we're mixing, so let's hit that just for fun. And we've made how much already? Oh, it's pretty efficient, isn't it? Pretty effective, holy crap. How much have we made? We can feed our pigs already. Uh, which means we'll need a way to clean our pigs, of course, the, the mess they make. I have an idea for that. We've been using it on our uh, stream map. Or I just, you know, set up a couple conveyors. I don't know. I, I like the idea. Holy crap, how much did that make in that little bit of fast time? I like the idea of setting up the automation stuff. Wow, that made, that made almost nine. Wow, 9,300 already? That was really fast. Just saying, that was really fast. Let's go ahead and dump that. And they won't really do anything until they have water, but whatever. That was ridiculously fast. I had no idea that that was so fast. No wonder we have problems keeping the thing empty on our, uh, on our uh, Cherry Hill map, huh? When we're fast timing. Wow. That's awesome. All right, so guys, uh, I know I'm way over time now, and I'm going to go ahead and call this video... We will work on piling the sugar beets. Oh, boy. Next episode. I can't wait. Hope you guys tune in for that on Thursday. Until then, I'm your boy, John, from Poop Plow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, toodles.